Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shoma, and you can hear the passion in my voice because I'm about to go the off. When I get passionate about certain rants, it's a different level. It's a different level. Because let me tell you something, man. There's nothing more that irritates me than stupid people who say stupid things. And I'm sure at times I've said some stupid things, but I'm not a stupid person. However, however, recently there was a video that popped up about the opinions of a couple of South Carolina basketball players, Lady Gamecocks. Specifically, Chloe Kitts and freshman Joyce Edwards, who is looks like the next superstar for South Carolina. They were asked by someone, it was like, it looks like a TikTok video, who they think the MVP, Rookie of the Year, and MB, WNBA champion will be this year. I think you pretty much have a good guess as who they think the MVP will be just based on what school they go to. It wouldn't matter if she was good or not, but she went to South Carolina. I'm not arguing the MVP, but listen to what they had to say. MVP, Aces, WNBA, back to back to back, MVP, whatever, um, Asia Wilson. Rookie of the Year, Angel. Um, Angel. It depends on how much politics are going to play in the uh, rookie of the year. I say Angel Reese. I say Aja for MVP. And the Aces. And, uh, I do not say Aja. I feel like the Aces obviously have a good chance, but it depends on how the role player show, shows up. I feel like Connecticut Suns could take it. God. Oh, my God. Did this young woman who was probably 18 years old and just – breath smelling like Similac, just got out of high school. Is she sitting on here telling us that if Colton Clark wins Rookie of the Year, it will be because of politics? Right now, Caitlin Clark is averaging more points, assists, steals, Blocks, shooting a higher percentage from two, from three, higher efficiency rating. The only statistical category that Angel Reese right now is ahead of Caitlin Clark in is rebounding. And Caitlin Clark is the number one rebounding guard in the WNBA. What? In the holy hell do we have going on here? Politics? Politics is what would keep her from winning Rookie of the Year. Not get her to win Rookie of the Year. Politics kept her off the U.S. Olympic team. Is this girl fucking stupid? Just because you go to South Carolina doesn't mean you automatically automatically have to become dumb. Politics is going to keep, it's going to make the girl, the woman who has better numbers across the board, has had a much greater impact on her team, has her team currently with a better record. Leads the league in assists. And you think that she would win based on politics. If she won. And you have Angel Reese, but you don't tell us why. Because we know why. Everyone knows why. You go to South Carolina, where Dawn Staley is the queen of talking out of this side of her mouth and this side of her mouth. Lie from here. Truth from here, or lie from here, and lie from here. But it's never truth from both sides. Same woman that kept Caitlin Clark off the Olympic team. 
who now says if the, if we had to do it today, we would it, it, it would be it would be should be in the serious consideration. Oh, I don't know. Is that because the guards in the W in this team have been absolutely fucking horrendous until today? Thank God somebody showed up against Australia besides Jackie Young, because the rest of them have been other a complete utter fucking trash. Politics. And then you got Chloe Kitts. Oh my God, her voice irritates. Is her, her her voice is irritating? Oh my God, that squeaky ass fucking voice. Asia Wilson, yes, Asia Wilson is the MVP. Unless something unbelievable happens, unless something unbelievable happens, why exactly does Chloe Kitts have Asia Angel Reese winning rookie of uh, rookie of the year? I'm curious because she's the one white girl on a team of on a team of nothing but black women and wants to be down. Is that why the one white, the one lily white, blonde hair, blue eyed, fake eyelashes wearing white girl who wants to be down and wants to be accepted. So she's going to sit here and lie to your face. Or maybe she does feel that way. I don't know. And I don't care. All I know is I'm listening to two, st to two stupid people who just confirmed that they're stupid. And then listening to the who the WNBA champion would be, we already know why Chloe Kitts is picking the Aces because Asia Wilson plays for the Aces. And it's easy to pick the Aces because they've won the last two. Are they going to win again? Maybe, maybe not. Have they struggled a bit this year earlier on? Yes. But this young woman, Joyce Edwards, doesn't seem to know it's the Connecticut Sun. There's no S. It's not Suns with an S. It's Connecticut Sun. At the very least, you play college basketball at a high Division I level, and you're probably going to end up in the WNBA. You should know the name of the fucking team. This forgiveness of ignorance is unbelievable in this, in this society now. You don't even know the name of the fucking team. And you don't think the Liberty have a chance? The Liberty don't have a chance. Look, I don't care who wins the WNBA championship. I don't give a shit. I couldn't care less. It won't, I won't lose one ounce of sleep. No matter who wins it, who cares? And if you think the Aces are going to win, cool. If you think the Sun is going to win, cool. If you think the Liberty is going to win, cool. If you think the Minnesota Lynx are going to win, cool. I don't care. I don't. But at the end of the day, if you really think that Caitlin Clark could win rookie of the year based on politics, then you are a dumb fuck. You are a dumb fuck. And yes, I'm calling an 18, 19 year old young woman, a dumb fuck because she's being brainwashed already by absolutely ridiculous human beings who don't have any fucking sense. How can you sit here with a straight face and say, Oh, she's the rookie of the year. Unless it's politics even though she leads in every statistical category except for one. Except for one. There's always going to be someone who's going to say something unbelievably stupid that's going to make it really, really easy for me to go the fuck off. And this one... By the way, I saw this on Ben Daniel's podcast and I had to say something about it. So thank you, Ben Daniel, because I couldn't find that clip anywhere. I saw it on your pod and I love it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're in the same boat, my brother. At some point, we should do a, a, a video together and just go back and forth about the fucking idiots that talk about Caitlin Clark and don't know what the hell they're talking about because it's just exhausting. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think of what these two dunderheaded fools for South Carolina said? Yes, they're adults. They get NIL money. They get paid. So I'm going to fucking say what I want to say because I'm sick and tired of hearing stupid people say stupid things and not get stupid prizes. You're getting a stupid prize. Leave a thought, comment, like, subscribe, follow, ring that bell. Come on now.